Whenever a new system is launching or rumored to be launching, you're going to get a lot of information being thrown at you from all directions. Most of it is complete BS, as I found out with the Nintendo Switch. And trust me, guys, I'm not making that same mistake. But what we've seen over the course of decades is that no matter what it is, it seems like Nintendo attracts the weirdest rumors the weirdest thought process and there's enough gullible people out there that are willing to believe stuff that looks somewhat professional even if it comes from a completely random place with no credibility whatsoever that's clearly being edited with the photoshop or something like that people are still going to fall for it now the most recent example is this nintendo focus that is going around and we're going to go ahead and debunk this whole nonsense and just to get into some other things that's actually credible with the nintendo direct coming next month or in september but before we get into that guys what's good everyone oj here welcome back to the video please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new and click that notification bell to get my nintendo switch and rpg videos first and with that out of the way let's go ahead and jump right back into this because there's just been this really weird rumor going on called the nintendo focus which is the next system for the nintendo switch that a user by the name of jonathan bark which totally isn't a troll name totally isn't something that's like not real jonathan bark on uh twitter has actually talked about this so we're gonna go ahead and read off what jonathan bark has to say here when it comes to nintendo focus and i'm actually gonna put it up let's just go ahead and go uh side by side here i'm actually gonna put it up so you guys can see what he has to say here so jonathan bark uh, he has the Nintendo Focus here, right? And it says, here is the logo for the Nintendo Focus. I will share more information and videos in the coming days unless Nintendo comes for my booty. Yeah, Nintendo's not coming for you for this. For this? No, look at this picture here, guys. This is clearly a edited photo with a crusty... <laughs> look at this right here. With, with the crusty... A crusty light chandelier right here. So you're trying to tell me that somebody did this with this crusty chandelier right here in the top corner, bro. You've got to be kidding me. And people are believing this. I've seen big content creators cover this as if this is actually something that is real. No, it is not. Nintendo Focus is not real. But it keeps on going here. It says, besides that, there is a pack-in co-op 3D platformer titled uh, Re Re Relno? That will launch alongside the system <laughs> like what is this rel no what is going on here so uh he continues to try to defend this when people are saying it's photoshopped you know people are scraping the bottom of the barrel no you are scraping the bottom of the barrel sir you are scraping it because this picture right here is ridiculous nintendo focus oh you put the tm there so that makes it believe oh well i guess it's trademarked isn't it and then this channel this ghetto chandelier that that's the funniest thing right there that, that ghetto light source with like three different types of bulbs or two different types of bulbs you got a bright white here you got a dim yellow here i mean come on bro you gotta take take care of those bulbs first that's what you gotta do take care of those bulbs first before you start coming here with these fake leaks now there's another one here though from jonathan he's not done so he says the core selling point of nintendo focus will be its vr capabilities hence the name there are more images i will showcase once they are in my possession transferring switch titles to the focus cost two dollars and 99 cents which is just what mario kart will launch with the system making up stuff okay he says street pass and tomodachi life fans will be happy relno ramen warrior coming <laughs> you guys relno ramen warrior is a four-player co-op platformer that will launch on the system's release date it's been in development for years at this point nintendo world is something that's being worked on as well this is fake this is fake this is like one million percent fake and i haven't been covering it because i didn't want people to think that it was something that was actually going to be real. I didn't want people to think that, oh wow, he's covering this because it's a real rumor or it's a real leak. It's not, and people are falling for it. So my good friend John from the Spawn Wave channel, he actually put up something on Twitter that had me just remember like a flashback. I'm like, man, I, have we seen this before? 
and yes, we've seen that same name, Nintendo Focus, before. It was already one of the fake leaks, I think, for the Switch. And I'll have some postings up from what John has to say. And I think he probably has a video on it. Check it out if it's up on his channel. And the thing about this, guys, is that you have to remember, when these new systems are coming, there's going to be people looking for clout. And that's really all this is. Now, are there real rumors and leaks sometimes? Absolutely. Are there some times where a random 4chan post can be right? Sure, it's happened a bunch of times. But most of the time, most of this stuff, especially on Twitter, is fake. And I went through all of this. So over the past week or so, I've had a number of people come rushing to my stream to tell me about the Nintendo Focus. It's being covered by big YouTubers and it's this and it's that. And I'm thinking to myself, these people haven't learned anything. Have you guys not learned that Nintendo stuff isn't going to leak like this via a Twitter, via a random Twitter? And if it was, you think Nintendo would actually just let it be? I mean, chances are no. Like if you've got the actual trademark and the logo and all that, the fact that this thing or this person is trying to push this same thing, which the Nintendo Focus, which was already rumored before in the past and it was fake, is just preying upon people forgetting, preying upon people who don't know any better, preying upon people that are gullible, and preying upon YouTubers or content creators that are willing to cover it for the views and that are willing to think about it because they want a new Switch so bad, they don't want to think for two seconds about what this can do in terms of the mindshare, what people are thinking, because this Nintendo Focus thing, this Realno Ramen Express, or whatever the heck this person is talking about, is just not true. So guys, there is no Nintendo Focus. Now, is there an actual new Nintendo system? Of course there is. Is it probably gonna launch in 2024? Yes. Is it probably gonna be cartridge-based? Yes. These are all things based off of credible sources. People like Eurogamer and VGC, people that actually have legit real sources with developers or real sources within the industry, and guys like Eurogamer who got stuff right before. So you can definitely trust what they've got to say when they say, hey, look, our sources say 2024, it's cartridge-based, it's going to be another hybrid. You can trust that Eurogamer is going to get it right because if you remember, they're the ones who said, hey, look, this is what the Nintendo Switch is. I foolishly went against that because I had information from somebody who wasn't credible and ended up being incredibly wrong and it was super embarrassing. Never again. So that's the reason why I'm battle tested and hardened against these fake leaks. And heck, even back when I was covering the Nintendo Wii U, that was at the very beginning of when I started doing YouTube. When I was covering the Nintendo Wii U beforehand, there was a lot of fake leaks and rumors and stuff. But it wasn't as much because the internet was matured, but it wasn't anywhere near as matured as it was in the Switch era or in this next generation that we're going to. So we just didn't have all the avenues for content creators to make stuff. YouTube wasn't that old at that point, only five years. So there wasn't as many content creators. Twitter wasn't a thing, I think, at that point, or it wasn't as popular as it is now. So now you have a lot more people to fake stuff and BS you on things. And of course, content creators that are gonna just make stuff just so they can get the views. Like I said, we've all been there. Heck, I was there. I was like, oh wow, look at this rumor. It's verified, oh my gosh, look at this. And then looking back at those videos, there's silly because they were all wrong and false information so don't fall for this bs guys it's not true it's not correct it's ridiculous that people are even falling for this nintendo does not have nintendo focus as a name with a crusty bulb chandelier with a crusty yellow and white bright white bulb chandelier in the back the dude just made it on photoshop or whatever then just put it on his system or just put it on his tv he was like, oh here you go and expects people to believe that which there are some gullible people and creators that are believing that nonsense but speaking of something that you can believe from someone my good friend Nate from Nate the Hate is talking about a potential September Nintendo Direct. Now, the thing about this, guys, is that he's not really going out on a limb too much because Nintendo always has September Directs. For like the past decade, they've had a September Nintendo Direct where they show off some new games, some new footage, new all sorts of stuff. It's always great. Now, according to Nate, though, he was responding to a question on Twitter from Nero Crystal, and Nero Crystal says, Hello, Nate the Hate. I wanted to ask you a question. When you think the Nintendo Direct will be 
released in September as every year Nintendo always releases its directs in September and this month I think it will be no exception. Now Nate responds with I like the idea of an early September direct. That's what he said on there. So an early September direct I also like that as well but if you guys don't remember Nate actually got the last direct date or the last direct timing completely right when we had that previous nintendo direct where they showed off a bunch of cool games so i do feel that nate is right on this one it's just a matter of what they're going to show off now i will have a prediction show once nintendo officially announces it i will have a prediction show ready for you guys but i wouldn't expect anything too crazy now there's been a number of games which i've talked about on my channel a little bit stuff like the fire emblem 4 remake i think we can see more about the princess peach game i think we can also see more about the luigi's mansion remaster that's coming too in addition to a couple other things as well so that right there should be like lock or shoe ins for the most part metroid prime 4 maybe they show off a little bit of that metroid prime 2 metroid prime 3 i mean these are all things that could come to the show we just don't know what else nintendo's working on because we know that it's getting towards the end of the life of the switch how many more games do they have they've already released so many of the big hitters on the platform now there are some other rumors going around from zippo who does have a spotty track record when it comes to leaks but he's talking about gamecube remasters should be announced at this next nintendo direct he's also saying it's going to be september so gamecube fans look out for something there's already been rumors of gamecube remasters like f-zero gx paper mario the thousand year door potentially getting remastered some outliers based off of nintendo renewing trademarks is eternal darkness so we'll see what happens there will it be an nso thing where they add a new system with gamecube or will it just be the remaster thing it's not 100 percent clear based off of what has happened based off of maybe who's saying what but I think that more GameCube stuff is always good. Nintendo's had a great GameCube year this year with Metroid Prime coming back, remastered, which was great. Also, Pikmin 1 and 2, that was also great. And if you noticed, Nintendo's had a new GameCube announcement every single big presentation this year that they've done. The earlier Nintendo Direct in the year, Metroid Prime Remaster. The last Nintendo Direct that we had, Pikmin 1 and 2. So I do think that, hey, look, they did two before. There's definitely something here. Could it be NSO GameCube? Could it be another remaster in the works? We'll see what happens here when it comes down to it. There's a lot of different things to pick from. Metroid Prime 2. Metroid Prime 3 is a Wii game, but Metroid Prime 2 is a GameCube game. There's quite a number of games that could go down here. But once again, once we get into September, we'll see how things shake out and what other rumors and leaks and stuff potentially happen. I think it should be pretty good. I also think Nintendo is going to detail more of Super Mario Bros. Wonder in addition to Super Mario RPG as well. Both of those games need more details because we really haven't seen anything else outside of those original trailers. There should be some more features that are talked about with both of those games as well. Because I noticed quite a number of things that were not explained at all, obviously, in the product breakdown or the trailers so we should get some more in-depth looks at those two big games because those are going to be the holiday drivers for nintendo this year so what do you guys think about all of this when it comes to the fake stuff that's going on with the nintendo focus and of course the real stuff that's probably going to happen with the nintendo direct let me know in the comment section below all right guys thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell and we will see you for the next video peace